Hi guys, so welcome back to the channel. Now on this video this week, I want to talk about air and air consumption, specifically air consumption at different depths, because this is something that isn't really spoken about when all you new divers out there do your training. I'm just going to give you some information so that when you're diving, you've just got this fresh in your mind, so you can take this information with you under the water and it'll help you out. So without further ado, let's go. When we're at the surface, we breathe roughly about 1.5 liters of air every breath. Now, when you go down to 10 meters deep, because of the pressure, the pressure increases by one bar, which is one atmospheric pressure. When you drop down to 10 meters deep, instead of breathing one and a half liters of air per breath, you will breathe three liters of air per breath. Okay. And when you drop down and you go to 20 meters deep, it's another one bar of atmospheric pressure, which is increased. So you will now breathe with every breath, you will breathe four and a half liters of air per breath okay and when you go to 30 meters because again you've gone down an extra one bar of atmospheric pressure okay now you're breathing six liters of air per breath okay so what this means is the deeper you go you're effectively doubling the amount of air that you are breathing per one breath. Now, if you can picture a 12 litre cylinder, now when they fill that cylinder up with air and they fill that cylinder up to 200 bar, so when you look at your gauge, it says 200 bar, right? What that effectively means is that you have 200 of those 12 litre cylinders all compressed into one cylinder, okay? So that roughly, I mean off the top of my head, that roughly gives you about 2,400 litres of air effectively in that tank that you will breathe. Now. If you imagine you're sitting on the surface and you're breathing one and a half litres of air per breath, right? That 2,400 litres of air is going to last you a long time, isn't it? Because you're breathing one and a half litres of that every breath. So it'll last you hours, okay? Now, like I said before, the deeper you go, the more air you use. So if you are at 30 metres you're going to be breathing six litres of air per breath, okay? So that basically means that with every two breaths that you take under the water, you are using one bar. Whereas if you're diving at 10 metres, you're only using three litres of air per breath, which means that you'll take four breaths of air to use that same one bar of air. So this is why the deeper you go, you will find the quicker your air will be used up. So this is just a little bit of information um, for you new divers out there, just to sort of just keep it fresh in your mind, just keep this information in your mind, um, because it, it will help you out under the water. Um, so, you know, play this video back as many times as you want. Keep, just listen to what I'm saying. Write it down if you need to write it down. It's just a little bit of information about air and how much air you use at different depths. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. If there's anybody out there that wants any more information, 
Um, I'm quite happy to give people some more information on this um, on this situation or anything to do with their diving. I'm happy to help people out. Um, my main aim is to get as many people scuba diving as possible anyway. Um, and I also, you know, I like to get youngsters involved in scuba diving. Um, saying that, I actually had a comment the other day um, from a subscriber asking me about what's the age that um, you have to be in the United Kingdom to get a license, um, which I thought was a fantastic question. Um, so it just goes to show you that there are people out there that are interested and they, they want to get involved or get their family member involved or their son or they, or they want to do it themselves. Um, so anyway, I replied to the comment, the comment, the comments down in one of the videos. So if you want to go back through my videos, you'll see the comment of what I, um, what I replied. But yeah, so it shows people are keen. People want to, people want to get into diving. Uh, that's what this channel is about. I want to, I want to, you know, I want to put my videos out there so that, people like you that are subscribed to my channel who might not even be scuba divers, but you've subscribed to the channel and you know, you're watching my videos and you're thinking, you know what? I want to go scuba diving. I want to learn how to scuba dive now. And that is my main aim is to get as many people into the oceans as possible. So anyway, I hope you like the video. Um, please do like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, 90% of the people that watch my videos aren't yet subscribed. So if you're watching the video and you're not subscribed, please do subscribe because what that does is it pushes it out on YouTube. It gets more people interested in the channel, gets it out to more people. And then, you know, and then it just has a cascade effect, pushes it out, pushes it out. And then, you know, we can grow the channel together and um, yeah, just see where this can take us. Um, so thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.